Hi everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you're keeping well. And today I'm going to review these Alpha and Delta Jap, I'm going to call them, uh, Bluetooth wireless headphones. Um, these are named after the inventor of Bluetooth, Jap Hartsem. So what's unusual about these headphones? Well, you can see some specs here. Bluetooth 4.2, sports earphones, IPX5 water assistant, flexible ear hook design for a secure fit. But the reason these were actually designed and made is to provide a good fit, good battery life and good connectivity. And I'll go more behind the, the clips in, in a bit more detail. Um, you can see here um, there's some trademarks all the rest respective trademarks that you need. These cost about $90, and you can see some of the other specifications, bring that a bit closer, that you've got here. Um, worth noting, multi-point supports, um, hands-free as well. On iOS, you get a battery um, level showing as well. But if we take a look now, I'm gonna grab the box. So inside here, you get this little box. Now, obviously, open this, because I've had to test these and actually give them a good run for their money. So in the box here, you get some different size spin fits, and I'll show you the actual um, headphones themselves. You get some other little buds here, different sizes. You get the manual, which is tells you how you pair, but I can go through that with you. Gives you some sort of maintenance tricks, what's inside the box. And here you can see what's inside the box. Um, and all quite straightforward. So if I grab the actual um, headphones themselves to show you what they look like, and if you compare them to um, AirPods, you can see there's a, a decent size to these. But these go behind your ear, so that obviously pops into your ear. This hooks around, and because of the way this is weighted, this sort of aspect here, it's really secure once you've got the lock and you'll know the difference because suddenly you get decent bass it just literally just connects in really well and you know what you've got here and they are marked as well so they have on one side they'll say whether they're the um, left side and like everything in life can i find it here it is um, so this is the right as you can see so what you do um, to pair these. You first will charge. Now you'll notice there's these little um, connectors here and that's where you plug in the micro USB and there's one per side but there's actually the special charging connector I'll show you in a minute um, that they provide. So these turn around they can start back in place like so. There you go. <clears throat> and they're quite easy to take in and out. These are very secure, so I um, try shaking my head with these on. So what you do is you pair the left side to your actual phone, so um, iPhone, Samsung phone, whatever you like, doesn't matter. And then you literally just press and turn these on as well. And when you turn these actual devices on themselves, which is done by pressing here um, to turn on, press and hold to turn on, they pair with each other. And that way they've both got um, extra sort of antennas. Um, and being this size as well, you've got a six hours battery life from these, which is not too bad at all. The spin fit, which are these um, connectors, really stay in the ears. Uh, they're sort of the world's first 360 degree rotating ear tips. Uh, they're good for comfort and they go deeper to provide a much better sound. These have a dual antenna uh, design. So what's unique, each side has two antennas on each earbud. That enhances the Bluetooth signal and strength, and I didn't lose any connection. IPX5, so sweat resistant. It's ideal um, if you're working out as well. It's got a multifunction button on these, so that's quite handy. So you can do things like pause music, um, pick up the phone calls, um, but you can't change the volume. That I will say, it's one thing you can't do. But if you look at if we look at how these charge, um, so in what you have is 
this little uh, battery sort of unit. That's where you can charge the battery unit itself, and it does. They do provide a micro USB lead. So very simply, you would put this in here like so, and then you plug the other end um, into a uh, computer or wall socket with a USB. Um, you can plug, charge this battery bank and the headphones at the same time. They each have their battery levels to show you. Um, so to give you some idea, you see, if we just take this and I plug this one in, so uh, it shows you the level here and you can see there's the red light going on and we'll do the same with this one here. If I get that side around, I must admit, having this sort of setup is a bit fiddly. You know, if you've got a battery case like here, that would be nicer. But what they're trying to give you is really decent battery run times. So this is the solution they've come up with, and you've got this case, everything fits into this case really nicely. Um, so, turning on, you literally press and hold the left side connects to your say phone, and once that's connected, you then press gently and hold until the purple light comes on and literally then they pair with each other. Again, that's a bit fiddly because you've got to turn both of these on. And also if you're trying to play a pause, you're actually um, pressing down here, but you also, when you're doing that, pressing into your ear a bit, and I'd rather it had been on the side so you don't push down a bit. Um, it's not ideal, but the thing that really does work, as you can see, is this uh, grip over the ear. Um, it's flexible a little bit as well. I was very surprised at how well these held behind my ears. Very surprised and yeah, sound also, it's not too shilly, it's not too bright. Um, it's got quite a tight mid-range and I actually quite like these to be honest. Um, and for the low cost of um, they're on um, about $90, I was quite surprised. Anyway, this is um, Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Got any questions, do ask below, I always answer them, and uh, catch you guys soon. Bye for now.